Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Jacobs. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and I'm also the inventor of advanced soft tissue release ester specialty. I am a cancer survival and I used to suffer from chronic migraines, headaches, pain and fatigue before I invented ester specialty. So Andre, tell me what's going on with your back, what happened? Okay, what happened is on the bottom of my spine here, on the bottom of my back on the right side, mm -hmm. it hurts like a pin and needles and mm -hmm. spasm. And especially when I'm driving, okay. I cannot drive more than 40 minutes to an hour. I got to stop and okay. stretch out because I hurt too bad and I changed it, the side and it still not, doesn't work. It's early. So how long has this been going on? About two years. How did it hurt your back? I didn't hurt my back. It just happened. It just happened and you've been experiencing that for the last two years. Yeah. And uh, how you describe your pain is uh, you said n numbness, needling. Numbness here, mm -hmm. and uh, especially when I go at night, when I s when I lay down at night, it's still hurting before I go to bed. Okay, so what aggravated just uh, sitting down? Sitting Any down. other movement aggravated? Or lifting, but not that much lifting. Mostly mm -hmm. sitting down. And what, what, what? How you rate your pain from zero About to ten? Nine. nine? And that's uh, as soon as you sit or after you sit for a little bit while? After I sit uh, for a little okay. while. So sitting right now, how much pain do you feel there? About seven, maybe. Seven. And where do you feel it exactly? In the right here on the right side. Right side? On the bottom. On the bottom. Do you feel it like a circle, uh, like a band? What like kind of feeling? Like, like a, a circle. circle? About that big. And uh, when you touch it, it's like something there. Something any pain, like, a nod. like a nod, like a scar tissue, you have scar it there. Tissue, yeah. So, any sharp pain going down to your legs or anything like that? No, okay. So, we're gonna do some range of motion okay. to see how, how far you can move your back, okay. and then we'll, we'll we, I want you to rate your pain level. Okay. When you feel pain, let me know from 0 to 10 how much pain with those motions so we can use that for testing afterward. Okay, so I will have you stand up. So as soon as you feel pain, I want you to stop and let me know how much pain, okay? Okay. All right. So slide your uh, your legs, uh, your uh, your hands on your legs and uh, bend forward. Let's see how far you can go down. Oh, that way like this. Yep. Mm -hmm. Any pain with that? No. Okay. So that's fine. Let's go backward. Really? Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Going backward. Any pain with that? Uh, maybe um, one, two. Okay, so twist to the right. Uh, three, four. Okay, the other side. Let's do twisting, twist your body. Mm -hmm. Okay, so most of your pain actually sitting like when you were sitting, that yeah. was 7 out of 10. Yeah. The, the, the pressure, you feel it there. Okay, so I will have you actually sit at the edge of the table facing this way. Facing this way? Uh, facing this way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to work on your back and make sure everything pain free. Is it more on the left or right, you said? On the right. Okay. So just it might be, it might be in the middle. It might be right there in the middle. Close to the right. You know, it might be right here. Okay. So you feel it right there. Okay. So uh, whatever I'm doing should not aggravate your symptoms. Okay. So you said when you do lifting at work, you, st you feel it too? Yeah, especially when you have to sleep, but I bend my knees and I do the right thing, so I don't get them. Mm -hmm. The proper body mechanics. Oh also, like, I, last week it was uh, pretty intense. I had, you know, these five gallons of water? Mm -hmm. I move a hundred of those, so. Oh my goodness, wow. By myself. Wow, <laughs> that's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to pull your shirt up a little bit. So you said you feel it right in here? Yeah. In this area? Yeah. That's the spot? Right there. That's the scar tissue. You feel that? Yeah. Okay, let me check the difference. Yeah. 
have a little bit scar tissue here, but that's it's right. thicker here. You feel oh, this? Yeah. You see, feel this knot here? Yeah. So is that the area you have problem with? Yeah. Okay. Anything else or just in this localized area? That's pretty much the area. Yeah. That's a scar tissue. You feel how big is that? Yeah. Okay. So um, I'm going to do some release and then we'll test it again. Okay. Okay. Make sure that's not aggravating your symptoms. Okay. Wow. Have you had any treatment for your back? Never. Okay. Sure it's not painful, okay? Right. Relax your shoulders. Relax your shoulders. Like I said, I've never, I've never, been, never had that before, that's the first time. Yeah. You mean the treatment or the... the treatment. Yeah. The treatment, you know, the pain, even the pain never was that good before. Yeah. It's going to feel cold, okay? Okay. So I'm going to show you actually the scar tissue, the size of it. Okay. Uh, with those um, instruments. Okay. Yeah. So it's cold. That's all. Right. You feel that? Yeah. Not here? You feel that bump? Yeah. Like a marble? Yeah. That's a scar tissue. Is that painful? It's okay. It's a little bit painful. No, make, sure, make sure it's not painful, okay? Okay. Okay. You feel this? It's a little yeah. bit here. Yeah, there's another one there, huh? Yeah, there's another one here. But that's not as tender as the other side? No, the other side is the worst. Okay, make sure you don't feel pain, okay? Okay. You're fine, you're fine. She's going to get to this area. You feel that? It's a little yep. bit here. Not too bad. It's okay. mostly the bottom right now. Yeah, the bottom. All right. Yeah. Yeah, relax, relax, relax. I'm trying to lose the weight right now, so. Mm -hmm. Which is uh, in the front. It definitely will help your back, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to lose it, believe me. Yeah. I'm yeah. on it. Yeah. I'm watching, exam I'm watching yeah. everything I eat right now. And drink a lot of water, so that's good. Yeah. And you cook your own food. Yeah. Oh yeah, I cook everything. Yeah, that's awesome. I really, really uh, never go out to eat food. And my wife and I, we don't. Yeah. I do better at home. Well, you know, you're, you're a chef, so you probably, uh, you know, and there's, no reason, and there's no reason to be a chef that you have to be in the week. You should be leaner than everybody else because you have the right ingredient to cook, you know, and you know how yeah. to do it. You know how to do it, so you just do the right ingredients and you don't overeat, that's all. <laughs> yeah, and now changing is also uh, with working with elderly people. I want yeah. them to live longer, so I'm changing the habit. Yeah, you change the, you know, you, you, you have more healthier options for exactly. them. Exactly, I don't you know? do fried food, I try yeah. to, to do less, less fried as possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. yeah, right there, you know, it's very sensitive. You can just add some nod here, it's yeah. right in here. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Is it too much what I'm doing? No, no, it's good, it's good. It feels good. Mm -hmm. Like right there, that, that. Is that painful too? Oh yeah. That's painful. Oh yeah, in the bottom right there. Okay. I don't know what it is. What, what about now? No, it's fine. Okay, I'm just going to take it easy. Mm. Huh. Yeah. You got a lot of scar tissue actually here. You know what that means. Well, we'll get the scar tissue from accident, trauma, poor posture, and poor body mechanics. So our muscle should act like a rubber band like this when it's contracted okay. and relaxed. When we have a scar tissue, it's like we have a knot in the rubber band. So when your muscle contract, there's no stretch and decrease range of motion and could compress on the artery. I don't really have an accident, I don't remember anything. Yeah, if you did not have an accident that you don't remember, it might happen over time from poor posture or poor body mechanics. In working on it. If it's a injury, overdo it at work, you just had a micro tear. And every time you overdo it, you have another micro tear. And each micro tear, you get a layer of scar tissue. I see. So after a few years, instead of you have a, one layer of scar tissue, you have 40 layers of scar tissue. And it's, it's a <coughs> big knot. Oh, I see. So it's usually building up, like, throughout. <laughs> 
Yeah, from lifting over time, you know, just... Yes. Until you get to the point, like, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's very thick scar tissue that... Yeah. ...causing muscle spasm and pressure on the joint and stuff like that. So, but I, I feel a lot of, uh, like, your scar tissue is, uh, is, is thick there. Okay. Yeah, so... And it's, it's easy to see the scar tissue visually where you have redness. Oh, really? I don't know if you, yeah, if you stand up, you might be able to see it in the mirror. So I want you to stand up and tell me how you feel. Yeah, scar tissue. You see that? You see the redness? It should disappear in 10 minutes or something. Okay, so let's turn around. I want you to do your range of motion again. Uh, I think the painful one was like side bend and twisting. Let's yeah. try that and see how you feel. Like that, you go this yes, way. yeah, and tell me if you feel any pain or it's gone. I feel better. No, I don't, I don't have as much. No? Okay, any pain or just gone? Um, maybe one. One, okay, let's do the other side. No, nothing. Okay, let's do the twisting. And the other side. Any pain? No. Let's do the sitting because you, you were complaining of more pain like with the sitting. That was 7 out of 10. And tell me, how does that feel? It feels better. 0 to 10? Maybe 2. Where do you feel it? Probably right here in the middle. Right there in the middle? Right there. Okay. So let you me... Know when you, you came in, right, right in that, the middle? That's the spot. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to work maybe on it. Maybe and that's what it is, maybe. Yeah, that's not bad. It was seven when we started. Okay, so let me do a couple of things and we'll see how you're doing, okay? Make sure we're doing this is Just in the middle, when you get in the middle, right there. What about now? No, no problem. Here? Here? No. Here? No. Here? No. Here? 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 Being in this posture increasing your risk of strain and maybe you can also because you cook yeah. a lot like I'm this yeah but we're gonna go over how to do it you know you can okay. cook and instead of you bending forward get a little bit closer and just be upright like this okay it doesn't take your time to change it but instead of everything here you're just leaning forward and that's right. right you know you get your stove here so the yeah. reason also yeah King. Well, that's the way you learn how to cook. The reason is fire, so you don't burn yourself. Because you don't want to burn yourself. So you, you saute things, and it's kind of heavy, you hold two hands. And, yeah, and but yeah, that's for safety is good. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's on fire, it's not uh, a yeah. trick. No, it's all gas. No, 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 no. Yeah, so you want to think about safety, but at the same time, instead of doing this, Squat your knee a little bit. Okay. So you need to you that. Yeah. That's and good. you know when you do cutting or anything that cold that does not have fire for safety mm -hmm. issue, you know instead of you doing your stuff mm -hmm. like this, mm -hmm. get closer. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. You know. And I don't know. It's uh, it's hard, but you guys do not have a stool or anything. No, it's not the walking. You'll never be sitting in traffic. Yeah. yeah. Next time we're gonna have a cooking video. <laughs> Another thing I like to do, but now I'm not doing it, is I think 
you have been like this for your own. So that's I will give you exercise, don't worry about that. Okay. We have to actually strengthen your core, your deep muscle first before doing the superficial muscle. That's a mistake that a lot of people actually do is doing crunches and doing the back extension. You, you, you should strengthen the inner deep muscle first before the outside. Okay. You know, that's a core stabilization. So, so your back will be uh, in the right place. But if you're not doing that, you're just strengthening this muscle in the front. Right. It's going to pull you forward more. Mm. If your back, if your internal muscle is not really uh, straight, it makes you know, sense. Working properly. So. <laughs> So we're going to do a little core stabilization to make sure, you know, because in this position, um, if you're not contracting your core muscle, the deep muscles, and I know you're not doing that because of your posture, um, the vertebra should be like a stack of, yeah. of blocks on the top of each other. If you're not really contracting the deep muscles of the spine, the front and the back and the bottom, you actually, when you bend forward, you slide them forward. You don't have that stability to keep them in place. Over time, you're going to have degeneration. That's probably what happens. That's probably what happens. And you will see that for a lot of people when they hunch forward, and instead of the spine, the blocks on the top of each other like this. Mm -hmm. like <laughs> right. And it causes like, uh, what's it called, uh, arthritis. Arthritis, you will have arthritis from that. And some patients from like having this issue for a very long time, they actually could push on the nerve on the artery and cause other issues. That's why it's extremely important to, you know, just do in the release. When the pain gets under control, we start to really balance everything, the front and the back. So, so this way, you know, you're not going back to the bad habit that's going to re-injure it again. Okay. If we don't change this habit, you know, it's... And I can change it. I, you know, I'm pretty good about adjusting uh, to the change. Yeah, that's good. So, um, and that's what makes the treatment last, is patient compliance and not re-injured. So we're going to go over how to, okay. what the risk factor to re-injure it. And so as long as you avoid that, you will be okay. Okay, you know? <coughs> Okay, so sitting right now, how much pain from 0 to 10? Oh, I'm fine. No pain? No. Okay. All right, so let's stand up, and I want you to try that motion that you said it was 1 out of 10. Do the side. How does that feel? The other side. No pain. Twist. Mm -hmm. Good, okay, so what do you think about the Aster treatment, what we just did uh, a few minutes? Yeah. It did very well. Yeah, you it did it better because you know, you mm. have a feeling a, a knot here, a knot. Yeah. you don't feel it. You don't feel the scar tissue? No. It starts to dissolve, yeah. Right. Yeah, that's good. So that makes you feel better, it feels better, right? Yeah, you feel better, yeah, that's yeah. good. And you, you, you're not experiencing any pain now? No, no, right now. All right, awesome, yeah. Pain. Okay, well, we'll have you sit now. Sit now and tell me how that feel. Do you feel pain sitting now? Yeah, I feel good sitting. You feel good? No pain? No pain, right. Okay, so that's good. I will Feel free to subscribe to my channel uh, to get updates about helpful uh, information and tips and tricks on how to relieve uh, your pain and your patient pain. Um, also, there's over 170 videos. Most of them actually real treatment videos. Um, I'm showing how I use uh, Aster instrument uh, on the patient, and um, you can actually see the result uh, in the video when the real treatment videos. Uh, if you are a healthcare provider, feel free to register for Aster class uh, so to learn how to actually treat your patient effectively. Uh, in Aster class, I actually utilize over a 400 research study. That's actually what I use uh, as part of the treatment, and that's what I will go over with a health practitioner to learn how to practice effectively based on research study. See you soon.